Thank you, Janice, for being here. My name is Zara. I'm going to be conducting your interview today. And we're really excited to hear about you and about your book. Your most recent book is The Things That Mama Misses. Can you uh, tell us what this book is about? It's about uh, um, a mother, what mother, what we mothers miss when we are away from our children. And my reason for writing the book is to allow my children to know that when I'm away from them, I still think of them and what I miss doing with them when I'm away. Well, that's really great. And, you know, very timely since it's Mother's Day and happy Mother's Day to you. Yeah, thank um, you. We're going to talk more about the journey you partake when you're writing books. So how do you develop your plot? It just comes to me. And most of my books are life experience with my kids because like no one's monster my, my son was afraid of the dark and 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 i want to find a way to teach him his shapes because he was getting ready to go into preschool so um and he liked monsters and dinosaur so that's the reason why i wrote the book um monsters with different shapes thank you i like that Share with us what your favorite part is about writing. It's meeting the children and inspiring the kids. And do you have a least favorite part? No. Nope. I love every, I, I've had the most amazing journey past three years. I've gotten to meet so many people, many kids, and travel many places. So I have no complaints. <laughs> and is there anything you wish you knew before you became an author? Well, to be honest with you, I wasn't expecting to be an author. It was by chance. A tutor believed in me and pushed me and, and showed me how to do it. And from there, it took off. That's great. And I guess finally, Janice, do you have a message to the people that are going to be watching or are watching right now? Oh, yes, I do. I had it here. Okay, be that change that you wish to see in the world. Be kind to others and yourself. Empower yourself with a book and follow your dreams. Best wishes, everyone. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day to all mothers. That was a great message. and I'm from Authors Press. Today we're gathered here with Janice, Tosh, and Sean. Um, Janice is the author of The Things That Mama Misses and Tosh and Sean would be the children that the book was written for. So Tosh, Sean, um, do you guys remember when this book was written for you? Um, yeah, that was like sometime in the 90s, right? Do you remember, Sean? Yes. Um, I remember her writing Nolan's Dream. Okay. But, uh, not okay. Yeah. So, do you remember how it made you feel when you received the book? Like, how did you feel when Mama read it to you? Do you remember how that made you feel? Um, I felt happy. Um, I felt like a good bonding time with my mom. Right. Kind of felt like she yeah. was there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anything at all that you'd like to talk about regarding this book? Oh, um, the day my daughter sent my, um, I would never had my book. She sent it to the first lady. Really? And um, Mrs. Clinton sent it back to me because if she didn't, I wouldn't have known she dream. Oh, wow. So that's something I bet not a lot of people would know at all. No. Oh, so, no. They have anyway. Seen your book book. Oh, yeah. Seen Bill Clinton. Wow, how crazy. <laughs> yes, because my, my, my daughter's third grade teacher, they were having a project and she 
I've always read it to her and she sent it along because they she said my teacher said bring a book and um, I don't know what the project was and they sent it um, uh, so it ended up in, I don't know how it ended up in uh, um, Clinton's desk and, and I got a phone call from um, her secretary she says we got your book I was like what book <laughs> and then and then they, um, they sent her uh, um, an autographed picture Oh, and she wow. has a, a picture of uh, Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton. Yes. You must have been really young because yes, I don't remember that. Yeah, your third, <laughs> your third grade when you were in the oh, third grade. And then the Daily Republic um, did a story on it. Okay. So, so Tosh and Sean, um, do you two have anything you'd like to say to your mom? Do you have a message for her? Um, just keep going. Keep doing what you love. Um, I'm glad you're happy what you're doing. Yeah, I'm proud of you, Mom. I'm glad that you're happy and doing what you love, you know? And I wish you plenty plenty of success for your book. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I love you both. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad I could interview you together. Group hug, like we used to do when we were little. I'll see you with your friends around me. Group hug. That's beautiful. Thank you so much for meeting with me. I enjoyed your time. It's nice talking to you. Nice talking to you. Happy Mother's Day to all mothers. Happy Mother's Day.